sweet, affable, eloquent, demure. Ah, it's good. You remember the word yesterday. <laughs> Well done, well done. You remember yeah, the word yesterday? Yeah, yeah. The Quite demure yeah. Etonam Kumashi. Yeah. Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning, Lantam. What's How up? Are you? Ade. Everything Ade. cool. Everything cool. Yeah. I never really tried with pigeon, but small, small. Yeah, you never. I'm a gay hey girl, yeah. How will uh, you speak pigeon? Yeah, we speak. For a gay hey girl, yeah. Good English. You speak good English. Yeah. So th- there was not an iota of pigeon in gay hair. Oh, there were girls who could speak pigeon. And were they speaking pigeon on, on, on campus? Was it allowed? I, no, 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 not on campus. <laughs> not so why you were in the dormitory or something? Oh, you, no, 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 no. No pigeon? No. Well, uh, I didn't hear anyone speak okay. pigeon. Everything is brothel fight. Yeah. Oh. I mean, you so should the, see the how many. So the Kwabuchi boys didn't teach you pigeon. But where are they going? So unless maybe we come home and then we see them. That's when they, they can teach us. Gehe uh, boys are Kwabuchi. Yeah. Or is what? Yeah. It's Kwabuchi. Fancy Okay, it's Boche. And mm. Augustine is which school? Holy Child. Hol- Holy Co. Yes. And then this Adele is who? Fancy Man Girls. Fancy. Oh, okay, okay, I see. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. If you had gone to school in Cape Coast, which school would you have gone to? If I had gone to school in Cape Coast? Yeah. Hmm. I think I would have gone to Boche. Really? Yeah. My brother went to Boche. Why? Yeah. Why Boche? Yeah. I mean, because when I look at the, the boys' school in Cape Coast, that's the one that appeals to me. Really? I don't like the color of their uniform, though, but, like, that's the school that appeals to me. Oh, Boche, that's nice. You know, Fancy Pim school, you know. And besides, I had uncles who went to Fancy Pim. Yeah, so they have a very strong old boys Yeah, so it, it, it always used to be an argument between my dad and some of his friends and, you know, uncles who went to Fancy Pim. So uh, when my dad talks about Achimota school, they'll come and say, no, Fancy Pim is the school. It's the school. The school. Yes, the rest are others. Yeah, the rest it's are the others. School. And my dad, my dad will start giving them the history of Ghana and start talking about when you are talking about the history of Ghana you can't talk about it without Your mentioning dad went to yes my dad is okay. an Akura just like me okay yeah so all of us are Achimota school people here we are Akures interesting yeah 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 yeah, yeah talking yeah. about that even Wasi has begun some a little over 400,000 students mm-hmm. have sat for Wasi okay and we are already recording some of his you know every single year yeah, every SMO. single time examination malpractice whether it's basic education certificates examination or the wasi there is always some and this one they are the w- what is trending or what is out there is that this is some form of organized cheating you know sometimes before i will not mention any school or anything because i don't have the facts but what i know is that or what i've heard is that some schools pay in advance they say your school was doing so it is not they say true. Wesley Girls was doing so. It is this I can't I, We heard the rumors. Ten toes they say, and they say Wesley, that. Wesley Girls has something called Black Mock. <laughs> <laughs> black I, Mock. I never the heard. The way people write the Black Mock and you go to the Wasi, they tell me. Yes. Is it true? It's not true. It's not true. It's you are not the gay Tell me. I am a gay girl and I mock. can tell you for <laughs> a fact that it is completely false. So what is the Black Mock? There is nothing like black mock. Uh-huh. We just write mock. We don't have anything like black they mock. They say they're black mock. It's not. And, no, and they don't I, give you papers. They say they write the like, questions for you on their They board. make you swear on your womb yeah. and things like that, that yeah. you would never come out and say <laughs> it anywhere. Please, there is nothing like that. Of course, you defend. I, I'm not defending. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> this is so true. And I remember my headmistress being extremely hard on this principle because she says, or she said, they are already looking for us. Yeah. You know, they already want to say that we have been cheating. And so if we make a mistake, if one person makes a mistake and actually mm-hmm. gets out there where there's actual evidence that we are cheating, it's over for us. So we're actually very, very hard. So try to on hold the reputation of Gehi. More practice. That yeah. I can tell you for a fact that mm. Did you so you never to did you ever take a port to the classroom? Me to write exams. Even in junior high school, crap, <laughs> it was not something. Never that did a poor. Well, I think that that is something. Did you that ask? Did you ask? I in think class, that that is. When you are writing exams, did you ask the person sitting by you, <laughs> in front of you, you whisper, or the person comes? I, I think the person comes to look you at your face and say, "Number, number two, a number certain, two. You think? I think you need a certain bravery to mm. be able to, you know take a paw into the examination hall like it's it's a different def- and i don't think i am that brave okay so what about asking asking in, when you are writing the exams and then some you are writing and somebody comes to look at your face and you go and look at somebody's face <laughs> and, say, and the person will signal number you four. number four number, number four. four number four and that one you did some 
That one there depends on if the, the <laughs> invigilator was <laughs> looking <laughs> at <laughs> us. <laughs> that was not in Gehe, by the because Gehe's standards were extremely high. Hey, hey, it's true. The Gehe girls are. It's true. It's true. And you, so you Gehe, didn't did want to ask be... anybody. No, okay. never, okay. ever, 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 okay. never ask anyone. Never Which said anything. Which Natchimota school did he ask anybody? That's a big lie. Oh, were that's you there? a big lie. Were that's you there? A, I have friends who went to Achimota. And then the, that's their generation. <laughs> okay, yeah, we yeah, are yeah, our generation. Maybe it's the Gen Zs. Eh, please. Mm. That's a big lie. Um, Mustafa Yusuf is also trending. Okay. Because he went on a public committee and said that $3 million was paid for the coverage mm. of the All African Games to um, GBC. And people are asking, <laughs> I mean, Lanta, do you think that that amount of money, like that much amount, is needed? $3 for million. million dollars. That is for the six. GBC. Yes. To cover the All, all Africa African Games. Games. And so we need further and better particulars. The Minister for Youth and Sports needs to break that down. And GTV perhaps also needs to come in and break it down for us. Or GBC needs to break it down for us to help us understand, understand. what went into the coverage. The public accounts yeah, committee. Yeah, so they sitting. should break it down. They Three million for all African games coverage. coverage. Just the coverage, yo. Yes. And so they should break Th- it down for us. We need just, to understand. Just the coverage. And we have not gone into every into other every thing. Every other thing. <laughs> Ghana. That's, that's Ghana. So that means that you agree that that's a bit too much. Oh, well, on the surface, it looks exorbitant. So they need to do a better explanation of why it took $3 million for the state broadcaster to broadcast their all Africa games. They need to tell us. Okay. Um, would you want a completely cashless system? Why you not? Know? Why not? Really? Yeah. Why? A cashless system is, is, is... I mean, it makes things convenient and it makes things easy, right? When you don't have to always have physical, physical cash, cash on you and the dangers that come with physical cash, you know. So you don't think there are any advantages whatsoever for physical cash? Because well, there are advantages for physical cash. And as much as we've advanced, I think the, there are I still think people the, who don't really yeah, know how to yeah, work Yeah, but this. I mean, we need to go into a cashless society. I think it helps a lot. I think it will help a lot in, you know, streamlining a lot of things. And I think even when it comes to weeding out corruption, mm-hmm. if you have a more cashless society you know a lot of transactions are done without cash and all of that you know it, it, it could help mm. you know in there so it's easy to trace you know some of the transactions and all of that but and when cash comes into the system there are certain cash that will go here and you can't trace where mm, the cash is but you, if you can't there's a transaction electronically you can always trace mm-hmm. you know so yeah i i mean i would prefer a, a cashless a, a society. cashless society well i just think that while it's good it, it could take some time because there are still people who don't want to have anything to do with mobile money, yeah. bank accounts, all of that. And I'll go somewhere, I'm trying to get something. And then the woman is like, Pacho media me, you see momo, me, pe momo, me, who send ya? And, and I'm, who does I'm that? Very... Nowadays, every, everybody uses momo. Long time, you Even will the be one surprised. at the Boja, the Boja, Boja store, you say, oh, maybe, <laughs> you will momo be surprised. Bitch, yeah, pay with them. And it's also because, you see, they are able to track a lot of things, able to keep data. There are some people who've also borrowed from these agencies mm-hmm. and they know they've that done, any, they've done quick load. <laughs> they've done any quick load. payment that comes in yeah. they would it would have to be used to pay back and so they don't want to be using this um you know mobile money transfer and all of that and easy is trending along with fella mcafee and medical oh really yes what's up with that it's alleged an allegation it's uh, alleged alleged that that easy is medical's new hey. partner hey. yes this was his on social media and i think it's because he posted a photo um of himself and another one but this was the uh, you know that thing you stand at the beach and then you take a photo of your shadow in the sun so we don't see the actual person mm. but <laughs> the speculation <laughs> is that it is her and Shatawale has also made some interesting comments on twitter alluding to the fact that medical's new girlfriend could be could be could be could be easy mm, they should go on <laughs> you should go hey. on that's for that one day. I mean, it is none of my concern. It, it is none of your concern, mm. but it's so strange. People are talking about people yeah, are interested. Talk, I, mean, I don't understand the, the reason why some of those things are the concern of people. Well, like me, I don't get maybe it. it's also because uh, why are you concerned about who medical decides to date? Maybe why are you concerned about they, they think that medical should... and Fela Makafui and the issues that are happening, you know, with them 
end up Charlie, Charlie, maybe Charlie. it's People's, also it's also yeah they are celebrities and all of that but they also have private lives can't we give them some privacy we can give them some privacy yeah, but i also say that once you become a celebrity and once your life is out there you should be prepared to encounter yeah, stuff yeah, like right, this Charlie, me, yeah, me. it's completely normal it's them if they want to do what and they i think want it also do. brings that question of um people moving on very quickly because there were um, some conversations around that on social media and that you know isn't there is there like a fixed time that someone can grieve please past it, relationship? it differs from person to person it differs i mean from if person their relationship has hit the rocks and you know that this thing it is not going to work okay why should i sit down and be brooding and be thinking to who i just came out of don't the you think that maybe People, you see oh, I, I have to deal with the hurt and i have to and you have to go through the stages of long time so you don't agree more that often, no it depends <laughs> more often than not more often than not before the thing end it was already it. Charlie, 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 Charlie. the thing had already ended that, that, that both of you were just weathering the storm and you've got to a point where you realize that now they are jeans him mm. to let it go and if it goes it's different if you still have feelings for the person and you are hoping that there could be a reconciliation that is different but if you know you know you know that this thing it no go work it will not work you know it is clear written on the wall i don't see the reason why you should waste time brooding over it it's not brooding necessarily I mean, you, you, but maybe yeah, taking painful. some time it's to painful. yourself it's, painful, it's not even the challenge. pain but sort of um, you know um, looking at what went wrong maybe how you can be better or what you can do better but you before know what you went enter. wrong you know what you were in the relationship and all those things were happening that led to the breakup you know what went wrong but the thing is that at the time you were still in the relationship eh, now that you are out of it know. i think there's some introspection you can oh, do yeah for you can do that but how time. long are you going to do it one year <laughs> i think that depends on hey, every so individual i mean if you do you relax you know maybe in about so we six, should not six criticize months. people hey. whether it's a marriage or a relationship like dating if they move on too quickly hey, i mean if you you can relax you know i mean from six months going you can start dating somebody hey now something you've just given us a timeline <laughs> six from six months going hey, and you can start six months going you know what if it takes going. one year you know you sometimes you have to yeah it, it depends on the person you know but sometimes okay i agree that sometimes you have to relax or you and enjoy the single life small. yes so yes you have to enjoy the single life small so that your is, eye too can clear be, be next time when be, you're going you know what yeah, you're looking so for being be, be single is sweet being single is sweet you know? ah. there's, there's a lot of freedom in it you have the freedom <laughs> to do a lot of uh you know how do i put it you I have mean, the what? freedom to 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 be you are you telling me in a relationship you. you don't have the freedom to oh, be you? Most relationships in Ghana, they don't have freedom. Hey. See, the mentality that people have with, when they enter relationships in this Ghana is like, when you enter a relationship with them, you become theirs. And they are monitoring your every move. Eh, don't go here. Who is that you are talking to? Eh, 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 who is that person you are texting all the time? Why are you going here? Why is that when you're going here? You didn't tell me. You, 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 that kind of stress. I don't think that's restricted. That's probably your partner just wanting to know a couple of things. Uh, no, some of them demand it. It is as if it is a right. Really? You are not my wife. Oh, okay. Yet. Okay. When you become my wife, you can do that. But since you are not my but wife. But if you are not appreciating it now, you would really not appreciate it when you're married. Oh, I yeah. You, know, you, you see, that. sometimes they overdo it. Yeah, so girls that's why it. being single is nice. But how long will you be single? So being single uh, also comes worry. with its disadvantages. Don't worry. When the time comes, the unsi- the <laughs> singleness will disappear <laughs> for now. <laughs> it is nice being single. Eh? Yeah, 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 I yeah, should yeah, be yeah, saying yeah. that, Lantam. Yeah, Don't you think let so? Let us all say it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, for our food for thought, it says, Don't rush the process. Good things. Take time. Do not rush the process. Good things. Take time. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your day. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Tanam Kumashi, uh, bringing us the trends. And uh, on that note, uh, we're wrapping up the morning star here on Star 103.5.